videos. Hot Latino Cat Fight was his favorite, followed closely by Black Girl vs. Russian Ho. While the girl fights outside nightclubs had more attractive girls, he preferred girl fight videos from the projects with less attractive women with less to lose. Moreover, they were always better fighters due to growing up in poverty. However, all of the girl fight masturbation was taking its toll on his confidence. He needed to get out there and meet women. Pretend that sex was just another normal thing. That was why Leary ended up sitting naked on his bike in Hyde Park, surrounded by a sea of dick and the odd vagina that refused to acknowledge the death of this girl. <laughs> <coughs> Riders, get ready! shouted the naked steward through his megaphone. He looked like one of those wrinkled dogs. The, the, the sharp hay? His comb over blowing in the wind, his balls brushing his knees. More and more people disrobed, flash stripping and packing away clothes. The naked doubled. Gosh, I hope none of my students are here, said the fittest girl he had ever seen in real life, completely naked except for his rollerblade, uh, her rollerblades. Her body could have brought about world peace. I have to do it though. I mean, it's not every day you get a chance to rollerblade through naked London, is it? No, he said. It is not. Then thought, do not tell this girl she has a lovely vagina. And his dick was like, do not tell this girl she has a lovely vagina. And then he said, do you have a lovely vagina? <laughs> and his dick was like, just join a monastery. But then the beautiful naked girl said, thanks, you have a very nice dick. And his dick was like, what the fuck? <laughs> the Sharpe was on the megaphone again. Please, could everybody not involved in the ride move back from the start and let the riders pass? Please move back. The start was a gauntlet of clothed perverts, photographers and religious protesters with blankets on hand for any of the naked who saw the light and wanted to cover up. <laughs> Can I hold your bike for the start? Asked the beautiful naked girl. You absolutely may, Leary said. <laughs> the naked lined up in one long row. They were naked on tandem bikes, naked on unicycles, naked on skateboards, naked on roller skates. There were naked joggers, naked people on penny farthings, and about 1,500 other naked people on bicycles, all in body paint and masks, sprayed with glitter, beaming nude and proud. The sun was shining and everybody was happy. Leary cycled on. The beautiful naked girl holding onto his bike amidst 2,000 happy and naked people rolling down Piccadilly. Shop owners threw out candy bars and chocolates and drinks. People cheered and young boys all looked grateful for the biology lesson. <laughs> Sometimes people just needed a laugh. Naked people on bikes were funny. In the mighty name of Jesus! One of the religious protesters shouted, Repent and put back on your clothes! Weren't Adam and Eve naked? Shouted the beautiful naked girl. You preposterous people! The protester shouted back. Jerusalem had grievously sinned, therefore she has removed all that honoured her, despised her, because they have seen her nakedness. Yea, she sighed and turn it backward. Fuck you, yeah. shouted the beautiful naked girl. The protesters had heaven and 50 years to keep them going. They were sure of it. The naked were not sure of anything and just wanted a little bit of happiness now. They were not ashamed. They felt they were telling the world they were there, human, flesh and bone. In ancient times, rites of passage involved going out into the wilderness and coming back with the head of a wolf. Nowadays, it was getting the monthly rent together for an overpriced bed sit in Clapham. <laughs> Leary smiled at the Holy Joes and forgave them. It must be tough having to be anti-everything all the time, begrudging in the name of love. The Holy Joes smiled back because Leary and the beautiful naked girl were going to hell. <laughs> the beautiful naked girl was frowning because of the exchange though. Naked wasn't enough for her anymore. The naked moved on down Whitehall, past Big Ben, 
over Westminster Bridge, the beautiful naked girl soaking all the oil. This is shit, the beautiful naked girl said. Let's get out of here. Okay, <laughs> said Leary. They put on clothes and went back to Leary's flat. Leary could not believe his luck. This was exactly how his wildest dreams went. They drank some wine, took their clothes off again, with the exception of the beautiful naked girl's rollerblades, then had sex. Did you do your homework? You didn't, did you? You didn't do your homework. You didn't do your fucking homework. You didn't do your fucking homework. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Larry felt like saying he didn't know he had any. <laughs> they lay there afterwards on a sheetless mattress, staring at the ceiling. You think I'm a slut? No, no, not at all, Larry said. You're a liar. I, I don't think you're a slut. Not at all. Not at all, not at all. Is that all you can fucking say? Listen, Leary said. Don't tell me to listen. You're a cunt. <laughs> Wait, Leary said. Stop telling me what to fucking do, cunt. The beautiful naked girl stood up from the bed, grabbed his one and only chair, raised it high above her head, and brought it smashing down on his television. She then proceeded to break the chair up into smaller pieces so that it could not be reassembled. <laughs> Go on, touch me. Try to stop me, I fucking dare you! <laughs> Can't we just talk about this? I, se I seriously think wires have been crossed. The beautiful naked girl pulled his bookcase to the floor. Stop crashing my place! Get out! Shouted the beautiful naked girl. Get the fuck out! <laughs> Leary tried to put on his underpants, but she intervened. No! No underpants! Get the fuck out naked! Leary did as he was told and left his flat naked. <laughs> he sat down in the hallway where he could hear the beautiful naked girl snapping his DVD collection and throwing his plates out onto the street. He heard her crack cups under big stomps of her rollerblades, then break his table in half. He heard her upturn his bed and break his windows. He heard her rip up all of his clothes and tear all the pages from his books. She beat his fan against the sink and exploded pots of jam and pasta sauce against the walls. See, sh she searched through drawers and found his photographs. Who's this? Your fucking girlfriend? She shouted. Then he heard her rip them up. Ugly fucking bitch! His neighbours came out and asked if everything was alright. Leary said it was. And they listened to the beautiful naked girl destroy his laptop and phone, shred his money and flush his wallet down the toilet. She tore down his curtains and ripped his posters from the wall. She called his portfolio shit and set it on fire. <laughs> and when there was absolutely nothing in Leary's life she hadn't destroyed, and Leary sat naked in the hallway surrounded by his worried neighbours, she opened the door and peeked her head out. I'm very sorry, she said. It's fine, Leary said. It's all absolutely fine. <laughs>